Who's ready for some live girl chat? Are you guys ready for some live girl chat? So ready. Yes. Let's do this, Tam. Yes. Let's do this. this. Yes. First up, rapper Meek Mill has never been shy when it comes to speaking his mind. And yesterday, he decided to turn his attention to one hair-raising issue. Lace front wigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meek tweeted, lace front wigs are whack. I'm protesting them. I just hate when you see that lace cap line in front, all slicked down, and the net in the middle. We letting y'all have everything else. Ask your man how he feel. LOL. And I can still be attracted to a woman wearing them, but my thoughts be like, is that a wig? <laughs> I'm sorry, LOL. I just had a few bad lace experiences that traumatized me. Okay. You ever get food poisoning from eating something and then never want to eat it again? Yes. Well, Meek said one such experience was when he was having sex with a girl and her lace front slipped off. Oh, Lord. Secure the wig. They, yeah, they were having a lot of fun. Well, many women were quick to clap back at Meek, like Toya Wright, who posted this video to her IG story saying, at Meek Mill, what lace? That is a fly. Yeah, that, that, is, yes, amazing. that is fly. That's, that's, she looks amazing. Definitely cost some makeup. I was about to yeah, say, yeah. it probably cost like yes. $5,000. Yeah, Money. expensively. <laughs> yes. right there. So can you explain what a lace front is? You know, tell everyone real, real okay. quick. The reason why they call it a lace front is mm -hmm. actually what you saw what Toya had on. They like to show the baby hairs. A lace front is this. This is yes. the lace. Mm -hmm. and mesh. It's, it, it's mesh. Mm -hmm. And actually, yeah. And so what <laughs> happens is, is that there's hairs actually attached you can to pull, that. And you can now, even pull some of your own baby hair through the lace, too. Exactly. You can pull some of your, but, like, for the majority of us, it's the wig, you know. And what's happening is that you ladies are taking too much of the hair that's on the mesh off. You got to leave it on there, and you got to cut as much yes. as you can off. That's Plus, how you do it. Up. You need to tint. You have to tint. There's, like, the see, skin. it's a new yes. day for wigs. Yeah. First of yeah. all, I want to say something. Yes. Back in the day when my mama and aunties and grandmas had to do wigs, they didn't have wigs like this. It was mm -hmm. one set wig. It was real stiff. Yes. Or either it was the Diana Ross wig with oh, all that hair. Love that, that was one. it. Yes. That was yes. synthetic. Yes. 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 But it's a new day because we've got technology, people, yes. okay? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, yes. there are times I've seen wigs these days that are so phenomenal. Jennifer Lopez has won a really long lace yeah. front wig mm -hmm. that was blonde, and you literally can't tell yeah. that it's a wig. So I think, one, if it's put on wrong, yeah, you going back to, to what he's it. saying, I think what he's saying is he's traumatized by having seen the behind the scenes that the wig shouldn't have been seen through. You right. know what I mean? I'm right. not like going to lie. The... That can be traumatized. I yes. traumatize myself when I take off my wig. <laughs> it's, I'm not telling I'm going to tell you what it is. It's the process of seeing it like the come off. Yes. But yes. If, it, if you don't secure it, I think I think he probably, you know, was in a situation yeah. and it came off. Yes. And it's like, that's why you gotta secure your wigs, ladies. Yes. Put some pins in yes. it. Yeah, and everything. Yeah, that's scary. Right. And yes. seeing it yeah. come off. Yeah. And sometimes people really don't know how to apply it. Yeah. Because exactly. one time I had a hairdresser put a lace front wig on me and she put all the you know, the glue and stuff, but you could still, you could still see the glue. Right. So when you're out and about, people aren't looking in your eyes. They're like, <laughs> looking like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. You right. got a little there. crusty up here. Yes. A little crusty. And wait, what? Adrian, we always talk about this. When you have your kid actually watch you take off your wig, they it is the funniest thing. My daughter is like, what the hell is going <laughs> yes. on here? <laughs> Literally, they, they look at you, scared, yes, yeah. like a deer cotton headlight. My yeah. wireless Grace had her daughter here at the Rio. Shout out to Olivia. Hey, baby, Liv. <laughs> and I took my wig off in front of the baby, and she was like, how you take your head off? <laughs> like, she didn't understand. How, yeah. how you take your head yes. off? She couldn't understand so like, what was happening. I love when kids see you know? it. Because yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. one time, Araya saw me with yeah. my hair, and I had the bang wig. It was fly, too. Mm -hmm. And she was just like... <laughs> she knew something was different. She knew something was different. But that's what, you, that's what you're saying. Yes. I like the fact... He made the statement. I think he got a lot of um, pushback. And yes. then he said, let me clarify it. Yes. Because... Wigs are not whack, no. okay? Yeah. It's just something that women do. They wear it they as don't. an accessory. It's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed of. I will say, if you do wear a wig, keep your hair up under. Keep it, keep it conditioned. Healthy. Keep it healthy. Yeah. Keep it braided, you know? Um, so that if it does come off, at least you still got a hairstyle up under yeah. there, you know? That's true. That's true. <laughs> and it's nicely braided up under yeah. there. Why do you think exactly. so many people got upset? 
Because it, I think the initial one was, the you know, yeah. yeah, it was like, you know, lace wigs are yes. wax. So now you start laughing and, and yeah. you know, making fun of people. Well, yes, from yes, accepting yes. hair yes. to yes. accepting roses, this Thank past you. Monday night was the season premiere of ABC's <laughs> The Bachelor. <laughs> Who's watching? Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> And, well, it's got everyone talking, mostly about The Bachelor himself, which is 26-year-old Colton Underwood. Colton is a former NFL quarterback and self-proclaimed virgin, something that was heavily featured in ABC's marketing campaign. However, when the show premiered on Monday, many fans were upset by how much they seemed to focus on and joke about Colton's virginity. InStyle reported that the premiere brought up his virginity 27 times. So much so that Colton tweeted, quote, is anyone drunk yet from taking shots anytime they say virgin? Right. And former Bachelor winner Vanessa Grimaldi spoke out uh, saying, too many virgin jokes. This isn't his identity. Thank you. I like that. Yeah. yeah. So, ladies, that's what I'm asking, girls. Yeah. You know, do you think it's wrong for the show to constantly stereotype Colton as a virgin, or is it fair game based on what he signed up for? I'm not surprised. I'm going to start off by saying that because it's a yeah. television show. And we know when you watch Especially Reality, it's always about sound bites. It's about that one line, and it's whatever can bait you to stay and watch the show. Mm -hmm. And in, th in today's age, it's kind of crazy for somebody to be able to resist temptation and carry that beautiful title of holding something that's precious to them. But unfortunately, television can murk that up and make it like then this, like, Outcast, you know, we don't go up here and sit and talk about like how many times Lonnie been having sex with people. Like, I mean, uh, technically, a n uh, we do one, and, and we don't we don't title that. No, like, but I'm saying initially when Tam shared her story, yeah, I felt like that first season of the real, she was probably yeah, so was tired annoyed. of you guys bringing it up. You get annoyed. Oh, really? My issue. I've had my... sex seven thousand three hundred and sixty-eight <laughs> times. Thank you for I your clarification. I'm like, really trying to really really picture <laughs> this. Like, it's so early. <laughs> no, I don't think... I think my issue with this is this should be a show about Colton, who happens to be a virgin. Yes. yes. Not a show about the virgin, virgin named Colton. Because it comes off... Yes, that, you know, it's probably rare. Yet I think it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But when you do it like this, it makes him feel like he's the butt of the joke or that he's a freak show. And that's uh. the thing. He's, he's not. He, you shouldn't be making jokes about it. I think it's, it's, it's pretty cool. But, I and I also he's agree. A virgin. You don't think you don't think he's don't a virgin? Think I think he's a self-proclaimed virgin. Yeah, why do they keep saying that? Something because he, they keep saying self-proclaimed virgin. You was 26. You had money. You was a. a, a, and a you tell me you ain't get nothing. Come Look on. Look at Tim Tebow. <laughs> Look at Tim Tebow. And some people do this again for religious purposes. Can I just? Well, okay. Well, yeah. I guess it depends on how you define maybe well, a, a virgin. Because some some yeah. sometimes people think that if you do any type of if sex, you all suck you're not... it to the point that you have yeah. penetration. Yeah. Yeah, and, but, and they're right? different. They're different versions. But maybe he is a, a maybe he tried it and then you. Right. Then you, you can't go. You can't go back. Again you, okay, yeah, but what is that? Spiritually, the same thing as a born again because virgin. not many people understand that. You know, but then like if he's a spiritual born again version on ABC okay. Bachelor. No, no, no. Like, no. I'm with you on this, Tam. I'm with you on this you because know? really, now we're talking about like <laughs> what is penetration? Like, where does just the tip count? No, that doesn't. No, no. Okay, I, okay, okay. This I'm is just the thing. asking. I, you what know I'm you can't is, say that, Jesus. Self-proclaimed <laughs> virgin. I am interested in why they keep saying self-proclaimed one, because I, I thought that was weird. Self-proclaimed was... mean he done did it before, and now he done changed his mind. That's yeah. what he. I don't know why we up here acting like. Self-proclaimed means no. you guys in a spirit in the spiritual. In the Christian world, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's okay. And nothing's because, wrong with that. Yeah, well, fleshly, he's probably, he, you know, obvious. Well, see, I don't know, I don't know if I want to go I into that because some people say, may not understand Okay, guys, I think legally they have to Christians. say self-proclaimed virgin because they wasn't there to actually see what his privates have been doing this but entire time. But why do we time? care so much but that they, he's saying self-proclaimed? Why do we care so much? And, why is that and why are we talking about it to this extent at the end of the day? Because whatever he wants to define himself he as... He can do it. Is yeah. what no, is that's his fine, body. but the, no, what they're doing is because you're, you're saying something totally different you're to me. You're selling us on that. You're this. selling us on the fact that he is a virgin, which means he has not had sex. Now, if he's celibate, means he, he did it, but he stopped. That's something totally different. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So that that's part. Why, and that's why everybody's 
it's so... Because you see, that's why everybody keeps talking about it. Like, you 26 years old, you was a former uh, quarterback, and you ain't never had nothing. Wait a minute, what's wrong, player? And you look good, too? <laughs> Something's... What's I don't wrong? know. It could be real, because somebody could have looked at Tam and said, I damn, know. she look good. Yes, she does. I, I, yes, and she does. I would be looking at you like, you's a snack. Like, why, why hasn't anything well, happened? See, and that's she why I sometimes have an, have an issue with that, because there are some people who just don't, don't believe it, and then you get annoyed, because it's already hard. Right. And then you're having being to prove a, it. And then you're having to prove it over and over and over again. Yeah. But I'm not proving it to you. I'm proving it to myself, and I'm exactly. proving yes. it to God. There you go. Yes. So, and I like that. Yes. Can I, I want to get to this next one, but I want to get you ladies' opinions. Speaking of finding love, R&B singer Omarion <laughs> was recently asked about the rumor that his B2K bandmate Lil Fizz is trying to touch and romance his ex- baby mama, April Jones. However, it looks like Amarion is okay with it. He told uh, Rachel Harper on her BT show that April is a grown woman who can do as she pleases. He says that as long as they don't get down and dirty on the upcoming B2K reunion tour, it's all good. So, ladies, do you think it's okay for a guy to give his friend permission to bump, bump, bump with his ex? <laughs> bump, or is bump, that bump. asking for trouble? I, I think if you can avoid this at all costs, yeah. really, really try to avoid being with multiple band members. You know, like, that's just, <laughs> like, if you can avoid it, you know, just, it's sure. just, I hear what you're saying. Let me tell weird. you, if I could get one Migos and another Migos oh, and man. another Migos, three Amigos. All right. If you can avoid it. Again, we, I think it is important Mommy. that we say she is denying oh my God. this. Oh. FYI, everyone, she is denying this. April says this is not true. Okay. Yes. That her and Little Fizz are just friends, and you okay. gotta believe her, like you yeah. said. Yeah. It's between okay. them. I don't know. So but why did Omarion say that? Because they asked him. Yeah. It's been going around okay. rumor. If I'm correct, Monique Slaughter, who is little guys, I'm trying here. Okay. <laughs> this is correct, Little Fizz is baby mom yeah, yeah, yeah. claims that April and Little Fizz are oh. okay, doing something. Okay, so right. let's take it out of that context and I want to ask the question then. Okay. Is it okay to date your friend's ex? And, and, and when is it okay? Because let's be honest, also, as adults, if there's something there, like, I think that if the friend... It depends on the friendship. If you can talk to the person and let them know, they shouldn't find out otherwise. Now, I personally, as a woman, like, there's so many men in, th in yeah, this so world. There's so many fish in the, in the sea. sea. I'm not that thirsty. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do but it. But at the same time, if something were to happen, is that, uh, is that like, a no-go, even if the boys are cool there? Like, how I would work? never or do it girls. just because I agree that there's so many fish in the sea. But if somebody wanted to date my ex and I'm genuinely over him... Blessings to you. Oh. Enjoy that. Like that part. I get yes. it. Yes. I think you They'd only have to feel be like soulmates feel away. or something. They'd oh, have to yeah. be soulmates and and like, you know, the heavens open up and you're like, oh my God, these people are really for each other. Otherwise, I don't want your leftovers. I get I don't, that. I don't, right. I, don't, exactly. I like that.